Well, all hell is officially breaking loose right here in the United States of America as the Biden administration purposefully allows Title 42 to expire, thereby causing massive amounts of illegal immigrants to now amass our borders. And everybody is pissed off about this thing. I'm going to show you Democrats pissed off as well as Republicans pissed off. And by the way, Senator Ted Cruz loses his shit on a reporter about what is going on. You guys are gonna love the broadcast that I have today, but on top of it, it also serves as a warning. The Biden administration is purposely bringing in and allowing this mass chaos at our border because it is going to bring economic decline, it is going to bring disease uh, into our country because they're not being vetted in crime. They don't have enough people at the border to start properly vetting these illegal immigrants to the point where the Biden administration administration is now just letting them loose without even so much as a court date. It feels as if this is being done on purpose. Let's dive into what's going on. Take a look. Foxnews.com just to give you an idea of how bad this bad boy is. Border Patrol apprehends over 10,000 migrants a day just ahead of Title 42's end. The highest ever recorded. That's huge. There are 28,500 migrants in custody ahead of Title 42's ex Inspiration. Think of how big that is. Again, this is the biggest ever recorded in history regarding those who are apprehended. Again, the Biden administration has caused this and they are doing it. Here we also have this as well. This is what the Biden administration gave to us and this is on Fox News. Border Patrol chief authorizes release of migrants into the U.S. without court dates as Title 42 ends. In other words, we're just going to uh, let you go. We're not even going to give you a court date or or anything like that. Just move on, go along, and sayonara, be on your way. Doesn't sound like they are properly being vetted to our country, right? The good news is at least one state is fighting back. Florida has pushed back against that particular uh, event that happened. Florida judge blocks Biden administration from releasing migrants without court dates as Title 42 expires. Uh, so good good news is, is over, over there in Florida, Ron DeSantis is doing his thing and at least blocking some chaotic new rule from the Biden administration. Now we know Title 42 has officially expired. NBCnews.com Title 42 immigration policy has expired as border officials prepare for a possible influx. And a possible influx is exactly what they are getting. So much so that right now we have individual uh, counties declaring disaster. Uh, take a look here. This is on CNN.com. U.S. border communities declare disaster as Title 42 expiration sets the stage for a migration rush. And how big is this migration rush? We'll take a look at BBC. Tens of thousands at U.S. border as Title 42 migrant policy ends. And here is, by the way, an alert that was given uh, by the U.S. Border Patrol Union. And here's what they're saying. Field report Reports from agents across the southern border verify the uh, enormity of the tidal wave of illegal aliens coming now. Huge groups are overwhelming stations and it is completely out of control. Massive releases begin and it is going to get much worse. Not better, but much, much worse. This is from the Border Patrol Union. I mean, we are living uh, on borrowed time here. If the Biden administration continues these destructive policies, there will be no United States of America left. He is using this to turn our country into a third world country. That is what I believe with all of my heart. And when this border patrol is saying things are going to get worse, well, how bad are they now? Let me show you some footage uh, of what has been caused by this. And what you're seeing on the screen here is this is footage uh, from a drone that's above the sky. And this is showing a massive amount uh, of trash and clothing that have le been left behind by these illegal immigrants in the river and alleyways all along uh, the border there. IDs, paperwork, all of it just sitting there. Uh, massive amounts of trash. And this thing goes on for a very long time. But look at that. Just insane. But moving a little further, here's some border issues. Uh, thousands of Haitians have gathered in the Mexican border uh, city there near McAllen, Texas. You can see some uh, some of the people there amassing. 
Uh, and not just there, here's another video. Uh, this is dozens of migrants lined up at the main CBP port of entry in El Paso. You can see this kind of goes uh, or kind of wraps around. I'll just kind of skim through that a little bit so you can kind of see the direction. But these are all people at our United States border right around now. You see, Biden told us that he wanted to let any and everybody in. And now he's taking those word back, pretending like he didn't say those, but say that. But this is why they're coming in. He, Donald Trump had much of this under control. He had some of the lowest numbers in 45 years. And he handed a silver platter, a gold platter, if you will, to Biden. And Biden now has the highest number of entries in the United States ever ever, I believe, in United States history. This is pissing off even the Democrats. You know why Democrats are pissed? Because now we have uh, the likes of Governor Abbott. We have the likes of Ron DeSantis. Even here in Arizona, we are busing these illegal immigrants up north to New York City, Washington, D.C., and some of these more liberal sanctuary cities or states, right? We're busing them up there, and they're kind of pissed about it. Well, we already have a crisis on our hands over in Texas and here in Arizona and over in Florida. It's time to spread the love around, if you will. And this is pissing off Democrats. They're turning on Biden. They absolutely are. Here we have the Epic Times. Washington mayor decries illegal immigrations being bust into the city. Zero hedge. N-I-M-B-Y. New York suburbs panic after New York City mayor plans migration relocation to areas like their hotels and parks and whatnot. The citizens aren't too happy about it. Chicago residents throw a fit over new migrants as Democrats cities clash with Biden administration over finances. Hey, they're saying, Biden, we don't have enough money. We don't know what's going on. We need to we need to fix this problem. Give me money. Give me money. Give me money. Money that the Biden administration doesn't have. We're already trillions of dollars in debt. How about you fix the border rather than just leaving all the brick and mortar around that was left behind by Trump's administration. Trump was building the wall, but now it's just sitting there wasting taxpayer dollars because Biden doesn't want to finish the wall. Insane. Speaking of, Senator Ted Cruz has lost his ever-loving shit against reporters who try to pin this on an unfixable situation. Biden and his administration and the mainstream media are so desperate to cover this up that they want to claim lies and propaganda and gaslighting to you, saying there is no fix for this. Well, Senator Ted Cruz puts them in their place. Let, 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 me, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. What rate of illegal immigration did we have in 2020? But you have Do you know anything? I asked you a question. How long have you been in office? Do you know anything? How long have you been in office? I've been in office 11 years yes, now. And this has been okay. kicked the calendar in multiple administrations. It, except your, you okay, you don't get to argue with me. You asked your question. You, you asked your question. You don't get, you want to hold a press conference, you can do it over there. You have How are you? You want to hold a press conference, you can do it over there. How are you? Senator, so, so, so hold on. I'm going to answer his question. The talking point of the Democrats, which this media reporter happily parrots, is, gosh, the problem can't be fixed. There's one little problem with that. It is an utter and complete lie. In 2020, the last year of the Trump presidency, we had the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. You ask, what have I done? I've championed the men and women of Border Patrol. I've championed securing the border. I've championed Remain in Mexico. And we turned this problem around and solved it. And we went from Joe Biden inherited the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. And the first day in office, he made political decisions to cause this problem. And you should be ashamed of yourself because you're a reporter and you're not reporting facts. You're telling lies. I can't help but clap for that. I, I mean, really. Joe Biden is the cause of this. That's obvious. I mean, this is ever so obvious, especially with the, the statistics that he shared there. Uh, Donald Trump had the lowest rate in 45 years of illegal immigration. 45 years. Lowest rate in 45 years. That's what Biden inherited. And now we've got some of the highest immigration records that we've ever had before. And the mainstream media wants to pretend like this is not fixable. <laughs> My keister, my keister. Thank you, Ted Cruz, for being such a well debater. I'm tired of these reporters lying to us and covering the Biden's administration's asses. That's what they're doing. Oh, we'll just cover for him and pretend it's not happening. Well, the problem is, is these stupid mainstream media people is 
the Americans can see it. They can see it on their streets and their towns and their cities. What are you going to do now? Are you going to continue to lie to our faces? Apparently so. It's time to call out the mainstream media. With that, please make sure you guys subscribe. Get to RestrictiveRepublic.com. Really, honestly, and truly, you got to help us uh, get the message out, get the word out. We're going to be doing live streams as well, Justice Knight and myself. We also have uh, an alternative um, guest speaker, Laura Thompson. You guys are going to love her. But you've got three separate personalities at RestrictedRepublic.com. And right now, um, we We've got a community uh, where we can talk to you guys, interact with you guys here at this website. And that's really what we need in these times of trials where we can all get together. And right now, use the coupon code TRUMP to get it for $5 for that first year. I love you guys, and I really hope to see you on the other side at RestrictedRepublic.com. Anyhow, I love all of you. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.